Hi guys, Tom here again. Um, I got some vape mail about a week ago and I haven't got around to um, doing a video so this is it and it's going to be on the Evic. So as I said I got it a week ago uh, so I've done a fair bit of testing on it and I'll, uh, I'll quickly show you how it works because there's a, a lot of different settings and a hell of a lot of different things you can do with it um, but I'll just do a basic sort of review um, just to outline the product basically so it's a variable wattage or voltage whichever one you prefer um, it's battery tube with a 18 uh, what is it? Sorry, I forgot now. 18650 battery. Can't remember the milliamps. I think it's 3600, I think. Um, so that's our just standard battery tube, basically. Um, five clicks to turn it on. And then you come up to some settings. Power on, sleep, vapor set, configure. So I'll just press it again to turn it on. Gives you the time, date, and no atomizers are found, it says. And that's your screen. So you've got on this side, you've got, I've got it on 7 watts at the minute. 35 is 35% battery life. On the other side, it's says 3 volts and 0 ohms because there's nothing on it so what I'll do is I'll screw this is just a tank from my tornado just because I've got it lying around screw that on and there it says 2.3 ohms now the coil in here is 2.4 but it's been on for a while so what I'll do is one, two, three, four, five to go into there, uh, and I will turn it off and turn it back on, so we can see the recommended um, wattage for two point three ohms, and it recommends five point two. So I'll give that a vape. I think they say uh, what's this liquid? is apple totally wicked apple so i'm going to try that at um i mean seven seven watts is probably as high as i'd go because 6.5 is usually what i have it on so to turn it down this is just like a a spring it it springs back so you just press you just press it and let it go it springs back So it's like sprung sprung loaded wheel. So I'll um I'll give that a vape and show you how that works. You can't tell very well with the white background. As you can see, it's it's very good. It, it also um, times your drags uh, when you're vaping, which I, I quite like that. Um, it's a bit of novelty. Most people, it wouldn't make a difference. I quite like um, the fact that it does that. So that was um, was six point five. We'll turn it right down to what was recommended which was 5.2 if you like doing it in volts that's 3.45 it says so it's it's very good it's uh, let's try it with something else on it let's try it with a totally wicked RB1 which is their rebuildable one I've got a video on that if you Interested, go back and watch that video. Uh, 
I'll just turn it back off and turn it back on again to see what it recommends. Um, I think I built this coil it's about 1.8 I think. Let's see what it says now. Turn it on. Time and date. Two. It still says 5.2. But we'll turn it up to six and a half. Very good with that. Flavour's fantastic on it. I haven't got a bad thing to say about it really. That's brilliant. Um now that's just a basic that's just basically how it works. But it's got a hell of a lot more different um things that you can do with it. Uh let's just exit out of there. So if you hold the wheel to the left, it'll change this here. Now what you can do when you plug it in, because this, uh, it's got a little uh, computer chip in here basically, and you can update all the programs, uh, and it keeps a log of all sorts of bits of information that you might want to use, or you might find useless. Um, you can track your puffs, um, you can track it, your whole usage of the device by plugging it into your computer. And you can set up some little, it's quite easy to do as well, you can set up some, um, uh, basically how the wattage works. So on this setting here, which I've named Viv Mel, which I think was for my Vivinova with uh, melon flavoured juicing. And I, if I remember, it, se it starts off at 7 watts. Uh, for about two seconds and then it goes down to five watts for another two seconds and then the last second which is usually what my drags are about five six seconds the last one goes right down to three so it basically on the seven watts warms the coil up really quickly and then it sort of mellows out a bit uh, to sort of um, to not get too much of a throat hit in the, in the last bit um, so I think that's how this one works maybe if I remember right um, I'm sure it was the yeah that one so I'll show you this one um, it's not going to be a perfect setting obviously because I've not got my Vivian over on Yeah, so I don't know if you could see there, but just above the uh, where the second counter is, it shows you the watts, and you could see the watts dropping down. So I'll do it again, try and keep it a bit closer so you can tell. So it wasn't quite the setting that I explained, but you could see the watts dropping there. Um. Now if you hold the ring, oh, if you hold the ring, just hang on a second, the other way, it turns at the top, it tells you how many puffs you've got left, that's your time and date, wattage and your ohms, let me set this back to the beginning, right so that's on voltage, that's your wattage, if you hold it the other way, it will turn. And these are your counters for how many drugs you've had, how many you've got left, time and date. That's your voltage and your ohmage. Yeah, and back, and back round. So when you have it here, whichever one you've got at the bottom, so I've got watts, so I've got volts at the top. If I, have, if I want it on volts, it'll tell me the watts at the top. So... That's the Vivinova, uh, no it's not the Vivinova, <laughs> that's the Hevic. Um I might do another slightly more detailed uh, review. Um, possibly I'll try and show the computer system how that works, which is very easy once it takes five minutes to get the hang of it. Once you've got the hang of it, it's easy. So that's the Hevic. Thank you for watching.
Please subscribe or watch my other videos. Thank you.